push forward. Walters. Not a good cross, but enough to cause a few flutters in the Hearts defence. John Brown completely miscuing that one. to Galloway. Hart settled for the throw. Butcher just to make the challenge. Cahoon. Cooper a lancing pass to Durant. Walters is on the right. Rangers at pace. Nisbet. Ferguson arriving in the middle. Nisbet there now. Stevens gives it back to Walters. Hart's defence on the rack. The double shuffle again. Goal kick, says the referee, as Walters. And Walters and Black having words. The referee will have to step in there. Mark Walters being called over. on the far side of the penalty area and it is a, a long lecture for Walters there for words with Kenny Black in that joust I think more frustration that the double shuffle didn't come off that time but that move started with a wonderful run and diagonal pass by Ian Durant who is coming back rapidly to the sort of form that we saw before the injury and Brown just sealing everything up at the back for Rangers as uh, we see Andy Gray out on the touchline warming up. 13 and a half minutes played in the second half. Rangers, a two goal cushion and looking to add to it. Mark Walters through the middle. Oh, and Henry Smith foiled the Rangers winger. Smith's anticipation in coming out of his goal there really saved hearts. As the Gorgi Road men go forward once again. Another move foundering on the intense pressure and marking that Rangers are putting on them. Hearts also have Ian Ferguson limbering up on the touchline, so possible double substitution coming up. There's Andy Gray. Looks as if he's about to make his Rangers debut. Gary Mackay, still driving Hearts forward, Bannon, the right foot shot, and Woods took that one well, skidding on the wet surface, but uh, Chris Woods really, at times, looks almost unbeatable. I think the main difference, Alison, is that the rear guard in front of him, back forward, has tightened up quite considerably, Hearts just unable to get the final pass through them into the 18-yard box. Butcher issuing instructions quite clearly to Brown. McPherson's header out. Walters, the tormentor of hearts tonight, and a real heartbreak or two. Scored the first, laid on virtually the second for Scott Nisbet. Rangers two, hearts nil. 15 minutes, 16 minutes gone almost. Nisbet trying to turn on the style, but slipping. Rangers still tightening the screw around that Hearts penalty area. Kai driving downfield. 
Galloway in pursuit, Woods has to hurry. He's out of his goal, his foot slipped, and Cahoon can't get the shot in, it ricocheted off ground. Now Rangers coming back, but offside clearly against Walters and Nisbet. They sprung like greyhounds out of a trap there. As for one moment, uh, Hearts were always getting a chance to get a shot in and go because Woods had slipped when he came out in the collision, and uh, certainly the Rangers' goal was open, but now here is Cahoon the chance! needed a goal badly but it's just not going for them at all John Cahoon had the chance there, he took advantage of a rare error by Butcher and really had the chance to score, beat Woods but the post as well that's what happens when you're 2 nothing down isn't it they just don't take the chances if it was 2 each that one might have gone in from John Cahoon but a rare error by Terry Butcher who has played quite well tonight and all credit to Hearts, they're giving everything they've got. And certainly, Cahoon tries again, but closed down by Wilkins, who covers a lot of territory for Rangers. Kid. The best Hearts can get out of that's a corner. take it quickly, Bannon, but that's straight on to Butcher's head. Kidd leaves it, Black, Rangers defence out, Bannon can't quite keep it in, he was leaping in the air, and he certainly, his momentum carried him over the touchline. John Brown for Rangers. Woods had come out of his goal, but elected to put it through to... Losing it to McPherson, Bannon, Black, Foster, Galloway to Gary Mackay, onto the left foot, a great effort off the bar! Gary Mackay, a captain's heroic role for Hearts. Tremendous effort by the number eight. And the Hearts supporters rising to the side. They're putting in a tremendous battle, and it was Galloway. But look at Mackay stepping inside and the left foot shot, beating Woods, but Woodwork coming to the rescue for Rangers. 19 minutes in the second half, and again, a chance for Hearts. McPherson trying the law, but Woods just backpedaled a yard or so and took it comfortably. But Hart's really doing well. Uh, magnificent work too by Gary Mackay there. Saw the space, pulled it onto the left foot, tried a little lob come cuddling and deserved a better fate than hitting the crossbar. So Hart can point to that Mackay effort that came off the bar and the John Cahoon shot that just went wide of goal. But that is the way football is. And it looks as if Rangers are shortly to make this substitution that we've been anticipating. Andy Gray waiting, poised on the touchline. As Cooper flicks it through, Mark Walters in on Smith. Oh, and he got it through the keeper's legs, and what a deflection, a lucky one there by Smith. But Walters really is an electrifying player. And the roar for the crowd tells you that Andy Gray is about to make his Rangers debut. A tremendous reception from the Rangers fans and Scott Nisbet, the scorer of the second goal, getting a hero's farewell as he leaves the pitch. The youngster popped in that vital second goal. And look at Andy Gray, 32 years of age, made his uh, semi-final debut against Hearts in the Scottish Cup semi-final in 1974 and now a Rangers debut as Ferguson drives it in golf shot and Smith in action again Rangers just come through these power bursts and uh, Hearts really put on the right when Rangers search forward now 
Ferguson. Rangers growing stronger as the game progresses. Walters is onside. No fouls as the referee as Whitaker came in on the fly, Walters. Close decision. Now Galloway trying to power through. Oh, and he pulled Butcher back there. Galloway acknowledging the free kick. Soon as limbering up on the touchline. Committed Andy Gray to the fray. I can appreciate Andy Gray coming on. I'm a little more surprised that Hearts have been substituted because some of their players now are beginning to show the signs of a long game and uh, they've worked very hard indeed. Out front, Wayne Foster, John Cahoon having to do an awful lot of work, I think, could do with the reinforcement of Ian Ferguson up there to help them. So Cahoon takes the throw, but Butcher mopping it up. Now here's Andy Gray. He doesn't look to have the pace, and I think he lost his footing there. I think that pitch is a little bit tricky there, because he just seemed to be running and not actually gaining any ground. So the roar of anticipation stifled in the throats of the Rangers supporters. Now Hart spanning. Three, four men in the box. Behind everyone. Now Gary Mackay, can he get another shot in? Out to Bannon. Lancing header, Galloway! And again, the man from the back coming up, being asked to finish in style, but not that time. have Ian Ferguson warming up on the touchline so it could well be that they've got to throw him into the fray by our watch 23 and a half minutes gone in the second half and there's Ian Ferguson going to take off his tracksuit top Berry battling in midfield Galloway Cahoon golf there for Rangers now Andy Gray tries the flick he's so keen to get involved in this one. Berry flicking it through the middle, but golf is time to look over his shoulder there and see that there's no maroon jersey within 20 yards of him practically. But you've got sixes and sevens just now, Hearts, uh, with uh, John Cahoon withdrawn now on the right wing and Mike Galloway having pushed forward. But uh, the problem is when Cahoon gets the ball and uh, is trying to spray it about, the man he should be aiming for up there is himself. And I think the sooner Ian Ferguson comes on, a natural front player for him to aim for, I think the better. Kenny Black holding it. Golf winning the duel with Wayne Foster and golf strides forward. Brown, Cooper on the left, finds Andy Gray. Now Cooper. Cooper really being on the fringe of this game, but that's a telling pass. Durant, Walters behind Stevens. Durant again. And he didn't really look up and pick up uh, any light blue jersey. Straight to Neil Berry, who's battled constantly throughout this match for hearts. 20 minutes left as Hearts come forward again. And the substitution now about to be made by Hearts. Wayne Foster coming off and Ian Ferguson, of course, another ex-Ranger, going to come on and take his place. That's Wayne Foster. So Hearts, nothing to lose now. The rain still teeming down.
kick taken, and again, Hearts just beginning to almost run out of ideas. They seem to be sagging. Yes, midfield players having to push forward a little bit as well now, Alisson, and uh, really they've got to get a goal within the next five minutes or so because morale is already beginning to be sapped a little by being 2 0 down. Uh, passes going astray, and I'm just thinking what a cool game this is when you're a goalkeeper. One mistake by Henry Smith, who has played well most of the season. Rangers throw off the head of Walter Kidd, the Hearts veteran. He seems as sprightly as ever. Cooper, this time to turn on the style. Walter tries to do it as well as he's pinned swept from him by Gary Mackay, who is not pleased with Walter's. And it looks as if Walter Kidd's going to be booked for the challenge on Cooper. Well, two ball players in the wars there within a space of a few yards of one another. Walter Kidd, the third player to be booked in the match. Second Hearts, Brian Whittaker booked 35. Richard Goff just on half time, and now the yellow card for Walter Kidd. In fact, he's been called back, and he wants Cooper over too. Well, Mr. Valentine obviously perhaps heard something that Davy Cooper said. So that's uh, two apiece booked in this match. And the outcome of all that untidiness. Free kick, two Rangers. Cooper slanting it across. Kai battling away, picked up by Wilkins. Wilkins now just knocking it about, almost casual ease. Walter's a lovely dummy, but McPherson read it. Cahoon. Gives the ball away. Brown hotly pursued by Galloway, and that really is a rather unsavoury sight. Brown reacted quite sharply. The referee is not taking any further action. No yellow cards, just a, an admonishing finger, and says, get on with the game, it's a free kick. Two Rangers. Saturday in the league match at Tyne Castle, Hearts had four players booked and Rangers two. So it seems every time these sides meet it's always a battle and it's always midfield, duels, tight marking, little room for the skillful players. Walters just being a little too clever there, putting too much icing in the cake. Ian Ferguson trying to get into the fray. Number 12 jersey for Hearts. Neil Berry. Mackay does well. Mackay seemed to fall there over the outstretched legs of Goff. Agile and alert. Now Cahoon, Butcher with him, and it's the long legs of the Rangers captain getting in the timely challenge. Galloway. Goff. 
Goff and Butcher have been well nigh impassable for Hearts tonight, and yet they still managed to bring Woods into action and strike the Rangers crossbar into the bargain. Offside. Now it's a throw in. The referee seems to be, and the linesman seem to have some doubts in convincing the players it is in fact a throw in. It was a foul throw actually by Mike Galloway, um, Alisson, and uh, quite disgusted he was with the whole thing. Goff held back there by Ian Ferguson, so the free kick to Rangers wanting to get the game going. Rangers seem to suck hearts forward and then try and surge through in the counter-attack. There's no doubt about it that the, the players that have on this pitch tonight, they all are really super fit. Yes, everybody's given their all, particularly for hearts. I think special mention must be made of Gary Mackay. Uh, another long ball through the middle, but again offside. Galloway now is pushing forward, almost a centre-forward position. Yes, but uh, Gary Mackay has really played a magnificent role for Hearts tonight, driven forward, but they are a little bit short up front, and um, just not managing at present moment to try and pierce this Rangers rear guard at all. If you are expecting the national news on uh, BBC Scotland tonight, may we remind you that it is uh, on BBC Two at ten past nine. Here on the main channel, it's live action from Hamden, the Skull Cup semi-final tie between Rangers and Hearts, with Rangers leading by two goals to nil. Goals scored by Mark Walters in the first half, and then Scott Nisbet and a tap-in in the 53rd minute. And Rangers now bring on Graham Souness. And David Cooper is going off. Cooper has been uh, on the fringe of the game at times, so Rangers remain now wanting to tie it up in midfield. There's about uh, 12 minutes or so left for play. Wilkins. Reminder of the scoreline. As Rangers come forward again. Walters. Chance. Hearts trying to break, but really that was an astonishing save by Henry Smith. And Andy Gray couldn't take advantage, it just fell behind him. Look at this. Stevens and Walter's pace was away. It's a good job Henry Smith didn't cut his fingernails this morning. And Andy Gray just couldn't put it in. Rangers have the free kick. And Terry Butcher can take this one. Bit of jostling and pushing there between Ferguson and Whitaker. Uh, six of one, half a dozen of the other. The referee deciding the defender should have the advantage. Butcher cutting that one out. Arms forward there. A bit of frustration there in Gary Mackay's play. in midfield. The statistician tells me this is Rangers' 18th free kick. Parts of a 21, so that gives you an idea of the pattern of the game. 
Now Gray, laying it off for Gary Stevens. Ferguson the decoy. And Stevens tried the shot. Hearts lived it. Good at it by the pullback. Still trying to go forward. There seems to be a, a light blue wall erected in front of Chris Woods. Eight minutes left. Eight minutes away from the place of the 1988 Skull Cup final. And a successive, second successive final against Aberdeen. Ferguson in support, Durant in the box, but he gives it back out to Gray. Tries to play it through to Durant. And I think Gray finding the pace of this one a little bit too much for him. Yes, and the pit seems to be fairly slippy as well, Alison. I wonder if he's got the wrong studs on. So here's Gary Stevens. He had trouble in the first half, but uh, looks sure footed in the second. Soonus, almost imperious. Walters to Stevens. Rangers keeping possession. Hearts stand their ground. Bannon to Berry. Cahoon is fairly deep. Mackay, there's space on the left. It's a great pass over to Kenny Black. Ian Ferguson trying to go through, gets the return, the shot of Butcher, and there was an offside flag. Well, sheer frustration creeping into the Hearts players now as they see this one slipping away from them. Although I was equally surprised there, Alistair, that the Hearts player was offside, but uh, Berlinsman is in better position than I am, I suppose. Rangers fans mostly under cover, undeterred by the rain. 